Hello everyone, Linda Israel here to share another creative prompt for January the 24th. Do know you can check the description box below by clicking on show more and go to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group as well as my blog as well as my social media connectors, my other Facebook groups, which is by Linda Israel and my fan page, Instagram, all those connectors, if you will. I hope that you will join the group and share your take on each creative prompt because it will probably inspire others. And of course, you'll be inspired by what you see there as well. Today, we are to create your journal page from book pages. Write about a favorite book you have read. I'm kind of continuing on from yesterday where we used some scraps and I had a few more scraps laying here. I'm already using a book page as my foundation and I thought I would use some scraps and a word phrase to put on top of this. Here's what I've got. This is a cutoff from a gel print in order to make it square or rectangular. And then I've got a scrap that I cut off of a piece of paper that I used for, I think a little notepad. It was just laying over here. And I thought what I would do is layer these on top of each other. So it makes a nice little wide band that can go right here on my journal page. So I'm going to glue these together first. And I think I'm going to stamp over the top of them. So I'm going to move my journal over for a moment and glue these together, just using some Maline's tacky glue. So I've got those two pieces glued together. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here and lay this here. I've got some archival ink jet black. And I've got the script rubber stamp that's from Beeline Designs. It is a cling mounted stamp. And I think what I'm going to do is stamp over this just to kind of give it a little bit more texture. So I just added a little bit of texture there. I don't know if I said this already, but I have already went around these pieces with some Distressed Ink Walnut Stain, just adding a little bit of darkness to it. And I think what I want to do now is glue this into the journal right over that text. My little book page that I have here has the number three, and I thought it looked rather odd in the middle, so I've got another scrap of paper here. I'm going to go ahead and go around the edge of it with Distress Ink. I'm going to add quite a bit of Distress Ink, so I'm going to use another piece of paper to kind of help discolor that. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this to where it's coming across all the way over here and covers up that three. And then I've got another little scrap here. I thought that might look neat. Let's put it maybe like this, where we'll have a nice little layer there. So I'm going to glue this two pieces down. This is a great way to use up those scraps left over from other projects. All right, so there are my book page, because it was the book page as a foundation. This was a book page, and that was part of a book page. Didn't say I had to use a whole page. I could use pieces. All right, so now let's write the journaling prompt for today about a favorite book. Well, there is my journal page made and my prompt written. So use a book page, write about a favorite book. I should probably put A in there. <laughs> my mother told me about the Outlander series, and I don't know how to spell her last name, but I think it's Diana Gabaldon. It's a long name. And the book series is about a woman who travels back in time. This is a series of very long books, and I enjoy reading them and rereading the books. The author does a great job keeping me interested in the characters she created. I'm glad my mom told me about the series. I hope you enjoyed seeing my take on using book pages and a favorite book, actually book series, that I enjoy. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends because that is how I am discovered by other people. It's a free way that you can help promote me and help me to continue sharing with you journal prompts and journal projects. 
And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, you can comment down below and I'll do my best to answer those questions. And thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your support. Again, I hope you're enjoying this series. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.